Um, I, I guess I'll, this question will be for for Joe. Uh, Joe, how, how's your how's your knee feeling after after this game? Um, it's all right, uh, man. Um, I don't know, but playing all the time in this case is, uh, I guess, not easy. Uh, but it's all right. Just gotta keep managing it and uh, hope for the best. And then I guess the question could go to either of you. Uh, I mean, Trey, Trey Young really just kind of came out and um, he had a great start. You guys had some different things on him in the second half. How would you kind of assess your team's uh, defense when it comes to Trey? Uh, he made a few shots. Uh, he got hot early. Uh, he came in off, off a few pick and rolls. And, uh, you know, right after that, we made adjustments, uh, which kind of slowed him down a little bit with, uh, you know, uh, you know, small guards setting the screen, trapping it, uh, getting the ball out of his hands. So um, he walked out better than he did in the first half. So uh, that's something that we can look at. Um, but he made a a lot of tough shots. Uh, he set up his teammates. Uh, just like Seth said, uh, he, they just made a lot of shots. Uh, they made, uh, you know, 23s. Uh, so, uh, it's tough to beat that. And then if I could just get one more in, you guys had a huge run uh, late in the fourth quarter, kind of get yourself back into it. Is there anything you can take from that to carry in the game too? Uh, I think so. I mean, just our energy, turn, making them turn the ball over. Um, playing with that pace and then um, getting good shots offensively off that. We've always been a defensive team throughout the year, and when we know when we get stops, we, okay, well, we're really tough to beat. Thanks, guys. Go back to John Clark. Joel, uh, when did you decide that you were going to be able to play in this game? Um, man, it doesn't matter. I played uh, – uh, man – Play we, I could have played better. Uh, we lost the game, uh, so that's what uh, you know. My focus is on um, what to do better next time uh, to make sure that we get a win. Um, but like, like I said, I played and you know. Jamie Coleman. Um, Joel, when you came out to start the game, uh, first of all. People didn't know you were going to play. Then you come out wielding a sledgehammer with Triple H. The place is going crazy. How frustrating was it then to kind of have the air let out of this building once you guys ended up down 26 points? Uh, man, it was uh, – I thought, uh, you know, it was going to um, boost our energy, uh, you know, hype everybody up. And we were all hyped. Um, you know, that was cool. Um, that was fun. Uh but like I say, uh, you know, our focus on the basketball court wasn't the same. Um, so, you know, they hit us hard uh, at the beginning. Uh, so now it's on us to respond. David Miniman. Hey, Joel. Uh, Doc said after the game that he didn't like having you out there late when you guys were making the run because the style was kind of flying all over the place and he was just – you know, thinking about your body a little bit, what was that style play like for you to get through? And is there anything that you feel like could limit you, uh, any facet of the game with what you're dealing with? Um, I mean, there's no, I can adjust to any style of, style of play. Uh, we just play Washington that play fast. Uh, you know, uh, they seem that were, you know, physical and, you know, that play fast. Um, you know, I can adjust to it. Uh, it's the playoffs. Uh, you can't worry about, you know, I'm in a minute someone is supposed to play or he's going to play. Uh, you got to go with your best guys. Um, and, you know, as long as, you know, uh, I'm okay to be out there um, I, and I'm going to give my best and I'm going to keep pushing until, you know, I can't. Uh, but as long as I'm out there, I'm going to play hard and, you know, I'm going to die for loose balls. Uh, you know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Thank you. David Murphy. Jo Joel, after, after playing your first game um, since the injury, are you, are you confident you can, you can be the guy, the exact guy that, that you were before and, and can be the guy that this, this team needs to, to get where it wants to go? Um, I mean, like I said, playing on the tournament is just is not easy. Uh, all I got to do is keep managing it, uh, you know, do my best, uh, you know, do 
uh, get as much treatment as I can, uh, try to manage it to make sure that it doesn't swell up too much. Um, uh, obviously, uh, the pain is going to be there. That's normal. Um, but it's all about, you know, managing it and, you know, doing whatever it takes to win. Because, uh, you know, my goal is to win the championship. And, you know, I'm going to put my body on the line to make sure that happens. Uh, I'm going to give everything I got. So what do you, I mean, how do you handle these next 24, 48 hours? Um, will, will it be much different for you than normal? Um, like, what, what do you do to make sure you're you're where you need to be going into game two? Lifting, uh, you know, ice in it, uh, treatment. Uh, man, yeah, I keeping it elevated. There's uh, not much I can do. Uh, I'm trying to just got to manage the pain and the swelling. Thanks, man. Last question. We'll go to Austin Crow. Hey, Joel. Um, sorry to keep harping on the knee here a little bit, but did you feel like you were surprised by your, you know, by your agility and your ability to kind of shift on defense and to keep in front of guys, or did you feel like that was something you anticipated having and being okay with? Um, if you look at the history, um, you know, every time I've had an injury, uh, you know. I, uh, it always feels like I don't, I never miss a beat. Uh, it's just because I, I go out there, I'm not thinking about, you know, what happened or what may be going on. It may be bothering, but, you know, I'm just not thinking about it. I just want to, you know, focus on giving my all, uh, you know, just playing hard every single possession, uh, just giving everything I got um, and go from there. And, you know, I put everything in the hands of God. Uh, like I always say, whatever happens, happens. Uh, you know, all I can do is control what I can. And it's by, you know, taking care of my body. And, you know, other than that, whatever happens, happens. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.